Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. It is the end of February, can you believe it? I'm actually filming this on my husband's last day off from his holiday, it's a Friday, and we had our last child-free morning together this morning whilst the boy was at preschool, and it's been a beautiful sunny day. So I have packed the boys off to the park so I can do some filming for obviously February's best and worst of beauty. Before we get into my best and worst of beauty for February, I just really wanted to quickly get into something for next month, for March. I got my months confused. For some reason, I thought that this happened in April, not March. But yes, it is my YouTube anniversary in March. I will have been on YouTube for a whole year and I cannot believe it. It's gone so quickly. So obviously I didn't want to let that occasion pass without doing something. So without giving too much away, I have got quite a few things planned. Predominantly, I'm gonna be uploading quite a bit more. If you discovered me in December or you've been a long-term subscriber of mine, then you'll know that I managed to upload pretty much every day in December when I was doing my Marks and Spencer's Beauty Advent Calendar unboxing. So I know that I can do these kind of crazy things that I come up with. The difference is this time, obviously it's not going to be a beauty advent calendar, it's going to be a whole mishmash of different kinds of stuff, along with the regular stuff that I do anyway. That is the plan anyway, and I hope I can pull it off because when you have a three-year-old, that presents its, its own kind of level of difficulty. But my actual anniversary, I think, is the 8th of March. I'm sat down and planning lots of things to do in and around that time. So look forward to some exciting content, hopefully in March. If you aren't subscribed already, then it's a fantastic opportunity to subscribe because it's going to be a whole lot of celebration and fun and I would absolutely love you to be part of it too. So anyway, on to today's video, which like I said, is best and worst of beauty for February. Surprisingly, I don't actually have lots and lots of things to choose from. I've been really good and I'm actually getting through stuff. Instead of being a bit of a butterfly and flying between different things, I've actually been using stuff up. So expect a pretty full empties video at some point in the future. But yeah, I've actually got quite a slimmed down best and worst of beauty for this month. And this is in no particular order. I'm literally just gonna grab the first thing that my hand lands on. And it happens to be this little box here from Just For Men, and it's their moustache and beard colour. I've done a video all about this, but I just wanted to talk about it again, because obviously when I did my brow hack tint at home DIY thing, yes, this is for dyeing your brows, not necessarily my moustache and beard, because I'm not sure if I would want to highlight those areas any more than they are already highlighted on a daily basis. This is for brow tinting, and like I said, I've done a whole video on this process. I tested out the process on camera, which was incredibly nerve wracking, and it was all thanks to a girl called Hayley that I discovered on Instagram, and she posted a video of how she does her eyebrows using this. And since finding this out, I've actually discovered that many, many people are already aware of this DIY at home hack. So I was very late to that party. So if you want to know a little bit more about the application and all that kind of stuff, go check that video out. I'll pop a link up here for it. My eyebrows take forever to do in the morning. This has just made the whole process a lot quicker because I just very quickly, lightly pencil over the top and I'm good to go. It's fantastic. Maybe use a little bit of a setting gel if I've got one lying around. This was six pounds, this color that I got. And in here, you get a tube of the color and the developer. Now I've got two applications out of this so far, and I've still got absolutely tons of product left. This is gonna last probably the rest of the year, I would have thought. I'm gonna just put that out there now, that is my prediction. Because the first time in the video that I tinted my brows, I used way too much product. The second time I tinted them, which obviously I didn't film because I'm not going to film it every time I tint my brows, unfortunately, I used like a pea size amount and that was still too much. So it just gives you an idea of 
how long this is going to last and how fabulous this is. Obviously you'll need to do a patch test if you want to try this for yourself. That's really important, cannot stress it enough. If you see some really scary pictures online or there's always someone that you know that knows someone who's had some kind of hair dyeing experience go wrong where they've been allergic. So make sure you test yourself. But those of you that have been intrigued by this, who commented on that video, who are like, I don't know whether to try it, as long as you're good with the patch test, it's amazing, it's so good. It makes the whole process so affordable as well. And if I can do it, if I can manage to tint my brows at home, anyone can. Next up, I've got this little blush palette here and it's the Blushed With Light palette from Becca. I picked this up in the sale at Christmas, sort of New Year time, it was half price. So I'm not sure if that means that this has now been discontinued. So I'm really sorry if it has been and I'm now gonna talk about this wondrous thing which you can no longer get, but I don't know that for sure, it's just me kind of surmising. The colour in particular that I want to talk to you about on this palette, because you get three, one called Wisteria, Songbird and Snapdragon, and it's Snapdragon that I want to talk to you about today, because I had nothing in my blush collection like this already. When I did my blush declutter video, where I literally went through everything and did lots of swatches, which was a lot of fun because it's not something I often do, gather everything together and swatch it all. I had nothing that was like this colour. It's like the prettiest kind of red, which was quite scary at first, to be honest, and it's got like this light gold fleck running through it as well. But I found I've just been so drawn to it and it actually looks really pretty on the cheeks and really gives you an instant kind of pop wow of colour. I'll just swatch it for you. So you can see it's a pretty intense colour but actually when it's blended back a bit I really like it and I find that it really suits my complexion really well, the fact that I'm quite fair but I've got dark hair and I tend to wear fairly minimal makeup so I'm not too scared to go for a fairly bold cheek like this even though I do blend it back a bit with a fairly strong eye in terms of well-groomed brows and just lots and lots of mascara and then a really nice lip balm, which I know sounds like a really pared down look, but that's generally the kind of look that I rock most days. So I really appreciate the fact that I've got a blush unlike any other that I've got. And when I put it on, it just makes me feel alive and amazing. So I'm so glad to have found this. I'm not sure if this is still available on its own. I will do some digging online and I'll find out and I'll pop something on screen just to confirm that because I would definitely buy Snapdragon just on its own. I think it's beautiful. Because it's quite a vibrant one, you don't need very much, but it just looks amazing on the cheeks. I absolutely love blush. I think it is one of my weakness areas. I would definitely choose blush over lip products any day, as long as I still obviously have my beloved lip balms. For me, blush just makes you look healthy and glowy and vibrant and I just absolutely love blush. So I really, really like this one and I really hope it's still available because it's beautiful. Next up, I have got shampoo and conditioner to talk about and those of you that have been around my channel for a little while or paid particular attention to the thumbnail picture I've taken will know exactly what shampoo and conditioner this is. Yes, it's the Maria Neela Luminous Colour Shampoo and Conditioner, which has sadly all run out and my hair is missing it. My hair has just gone into some kind of, where did the beautiful stuff go? I'd like some more of that, please. I'd love to give you some more, but I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to use up some other stuff because that's the right thing to do. As you may or may not know, these came from a Latest in Beauty box and I do actually still have a full size shampoo because when the box arrived, the top had flipped up and spilt shampoo over everything. And when I contacted Latest in Beauty, they very kindly sent me another full size shampoo. I haven't opened it yet though because I don't have the conditioner to go with it. So I will need to repurchase this one. But like I said, I need to get through what I'm currently using and my hair is like really not happy every time I'm washing it with this other stuff. Absolutely beautiful. I have done a review on this because you guys requested it. So if you want any more in-depth info, go check that video out because I do go into quite a lot of detail, I suppose, for a, 
a shampoo and conditioner review. But in terms of how I feel about this right now, I do really miss it. My hair is definitely feeling different now that I'm using something else. It's feeling quite dry and straw-like. And it's funny how lightweight feeling this conditioner feels because obviously it is doing something amazing for my hair because it made my hair feel like silk. And now I've kind of hidden it away in this sort of messy structure on top of my head because it's just feeling dry and parched and unhappy again. It's definitely pining for this stuff, so I will have to repurchase another bottle of the conditioner, as well as probably having a little bit of a binge on the website anyway, because there are just so many wonderful things there to check out. I'm so excited to try some more from this brand. So thank you so much for Latest in Beauty for introducing me to this brand because I'm excited about it and that is such a rare thing for me when it comes to hair care stuff because I am very fussy. Next up I have a couple of brow products which I have done a review on already. So no prizes for guessing here because it's obviously going to be this set from Zoeva. This is part of their new brow line that they came out with which was the end of January and I ordered it straight away and I've basically been using this pair every single day for February and I've actually been really enjoying it. I think it's incredibly good value. This was £13.50 for this set and you're getting a graphic brow pencil and a graphic brow fix gel. Now we'll just talk about the pencil first. Again, if you want more in-depth information than what I'm going to touch on here, I'll put a card up to the actual review that I did of these products where you'll be able to see application and all that kind of stuff as well. What I like about these is they're really solidly put together. So although it's, I don't like to use the word cheap, but it's affordable makeup, but it's really good quality as well. I'm a huge fan of Zoeva, and this is the first of their makeup stuff that I've actually tried. I would love to try more, but it's obviously the expense of it all. In terms of what you're getting here, you're getting a really nice retractable brow pencil. And you can see actually how much more I've used this since I did my review of it because originally it was coming up quite a bit higher. So already I'm thinking that maybe this isn't going to last all that long because like I said I've been using it for pretty much a month already. The colour that I picked up was Bista which is the darkest. It's not amazingly dark. I have pretty dark hair but I think if you have anything really dark then you may struggle with this one to make it work because it is definitely more on the very deep chocolatey end of things. What I like about this is the packaging is really solid even though it's a really affordable brow pencil. You get a spoolie on one end which is a fairly nicely firm but also fairly soft too so you can blend nicely and then obviously the pencil on the other side. And as you can probably see, these caps go on really solidly. So it gives you a nice bit of peace of mind that they're not going to be going anywhere. What I like about the formula of the brow pencil is where I've just done that swatch there, I've managed to get a really nice angle going on the actual product. So what that means is that you can draw really thin hair-like strokes on your eyebrow if that's the kind of look that you want to go for, if you're a bit patchy maybe in a few areas and you just want to fill in a little bit. But it is just about creamy enough that you can actually lay down some serious colour if you need to as well. But it's also pretty blendable as well but not to the point where when you start to blend it, it all just disappears. So really love this brow pencil, really impressed with it, and I think it's a fantastic price. In terms of the brow fix that came in the set, I'm having a bit of a hit and miss thing with this at the moment. I love the colour, I think the colour is perfect. What you possibly didn't see then is when I've taken it out of the packaging, there's a lot of product that ends up on the end which you have to wipe off because otherwise you're going to make a mess of everything. This is quickly becoming one of my favourite brow finishing products that I use because I do like to add some kind of extra step, whether it be a clear brow mascara or a coloured one, just to lift the hairs back into prominence again because sometimes I think when you just add the colour on it can make everything look a bit flat and I personally like to really make it look as though yes, these are my natural brows, this is how I wake up in the morning. I also find the wand a bit tricky as well, it's quite long, it is slim 
but because it's so long it's really easy to end up putting product either side of your brow and I have done this multiple times and it did happen completely flukily and by accident in the review that I did of these products when I was actually doing the cutaway of me applying the product it happened twice and as frustrating as it was whilst I was filming it I thought well actually at least you guys can now see what I mean in terms of the applicator being tricky. The actual formula of the product itself is really nice but I think in terms of what else is out there and what you can get for the money I think this is absolutely fantastic value and they are lovely products it's just that with the brow fix it is that little bit more tricky to apply. Okay so I've just got two more products to talk about now and they're both from the same brand so I may as well talk about them at the same time. They are both from Emma Hardy. The first is this tube of Amazing Face Age Support Cream and this is a jar of Amazing Face Rosehip Exfoliating Seeds. Now we'll just talk about the face cream first. This tube, I have a feeling, came in a gift pack along with these. Although I can't be 100% sure on that because basically I am having some kind of love affair with Emma Hardy at the moment and I'm just like grabbing everything that I can because I want to try it because basically everything I've been trying I've been absolutely loving and so has my skin. So what I've been using this face cream for because chances are you'll know that it's the Emma Hardy Protect and Prime Moisturiser that's my holy grail moisturiser for during the day I've been using this one at night as a face cream and it's absolutely beautiful. I also used this one when I did my nighttime skincare routine video as well and I've basically been using it every night since then and I absolutely love it. You can use it morning and evening. I find it slightly heavy for during the day. I have tried it during the day but it's just that little bit too heavy compared to the Protect and Prime. But on days where I'm having a particularly dry moment which my skin seems to be doing at the moment, not so much up here, but this area here is really dry. I mean, it's been really windy, so whether that's had something to do with it. I desperately need to exfoliate and put some treats on my skin. I think because I've not been very well, I've perhaps not been dedicating enough time to my skin, and this is what's happened. It's just gone all dry and horrible. I've actually been using the Protect and Prime where I tend to be really oily and then been using this in the areas where I tend to be drier and it does seem to be helping. You don't need very much of this as well, which is always a nice thing in my eyes. It's got a very gentle and subtle scent to it. And at first it seems like it's going to be really, really thick. But when you massage it into the skin, it just disappears. And when I use this as a night cream, I wake up in the morning, my skin just feels moisturized and lovely, not oily or tacky at all. It just feels like really nice skin. I'm really pleased to have found this one and there may well be a full size one sat somewhere. When you find something that works so well with your skin, you may as well just jump on it, in my opinion. What I also like about the Emma Hardy UK website is they seem to run some fantastic offers and I wish I'd realised that sooner before I'd bought some Emma Hardy stuff elsewhere because not only do they have quite regular discount coupons, they've got one running at the moment, I think it's until the 27th of February and they've got 25% off everything which is absolutely fantastic. But when I bought this, they had these packs where it was like a couple of items in there, but you're only really paying for one and the other one is free. And then if you bought that, then you got this whole set free. And one of the things in there was a full size cream. And I was like, okay then, because these products are gonna last such a long time. Because I've been using this one for ages, because like I said, you don't need very much. And there's only 15 mil in here. It is a bit of a splurge. It's on the pricey end of the scale, but it really has been really nice for my skin. And if you can find samples of this stuff to try, I would definitely recommend that you do it. Quite often, Emma Hardy products are on Feel Unique's pick and mix service. So that's how I tried a lot of these things before I ended up buying them, because quite often they're on there and you get to be able to try these amazing things and discover if it's actually going to work for you. So the last thing that I mentioned is the rose hip exfoliating seeds. This came in a gift pack, I wouldn't have necessarily gone out of my way to get these. And what it is, is it's this little pot, I mean I say little, there's 10 grams in here. I feel that this is probably going to last quite a long time because like a lot of things, you really don't need very much of this. It looks quite a lot like sand, 
and you just tip some out and what you mix this with is their Moringa cleansing balm and you turn the balm into an exfoliator by using this and oh wow does it make a beautiful exfoliator. I'm not a huge fan of really scrubby exfoliators. When I was a teenager, I used to just assume that that was the way that you exfoliated your skin and it was like putting sandpaper almost on your face. Since then, I do a lot more chemical exfoliation and sometimes I will reach for something a bit more scrubby. I really like the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, which mixes both chemical exfoliant and it's got scrubby particles in there as well. So that's a really nice one. And this one I absolutely love too. Although it's quite scrubby, it's not really intensive to make you feel like you're really sandpapering your face. So I've been really enjoying using this and just now gently rubbing it between my fingers, it really doesn't feel very scrubby at all. This was a really pleasant surprise. And like I said, I think this tub is gonna last a really long time. And it's nice to be able to have an existing product of Emma Hardy's in the Moringa Cleansing Balm and then be able to mix something else to it to then turn it into like another product which you can obviously use the Moringa Cleansing Balm on its own or add this in to make it more of an exfoliant and after I've washed my face off my face feels so silky smooth gorgeous but not in a kind of really red abrasive I've just sand blasted my face kind of way. So that's it for this month's Best and Worst of Beauty and it's probably good timing because my leg has now gone to sleep and I am losing the light and the boys will probably be back home in a minute. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video and enjoyed seeing what products I've really loved this February. It's been a brilliant month. I feel like I've made some fantastic discoveries that I am really, really pleased about. If you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up down below. And like I said, if you're not subscribed already, I'll pop a button just here so you can subscribe and get notified of new content as and when it gets uploaded. And I'll also put a link to my last video just up here if you've not seen that to go check it out. Anyway, I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you again soon. Bye!